Yo, what's up everybody? JP here checking in live, man. Respectmyregion.com. Coming to you guys live from the Fly Expo. And I'm here with PAX at the PAX booth, man. PAX Woods, PAX Los Angeles, Massachusetts. We're here with Derek D'Ambrosia, head of sales, chief of marketing. There's brands that you represent. There's a bunch of good stuff that you've been doing here in Massachusetts for a few years, for a long time. I'm excited to be here with you, man. How have you been? I'm fantastic, bro. Thanks for coming, man. I really appreciate, appreciate you. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look out. Yeah, we got Percy's now, so yeah. we're chilling. You know what I mean? So we... It's an honor to be here with you, bro. Thank you. When we... And I, of course, I just knocked that over. When, right. when we first connected Cape Cod Cannabis, yeah. right? Still a, a, a partner in that. It's yeah. doing its thing. It's great. You've since moved on. I want to say better and bigger, but definitely bigger. Yes. And this is some of the better product I've had in a while. Thank you so much, brother. I I'm appreciate that. About what you've been up to and how the journey's been. Talk to me. What's good? So, you know, when uh, when we first spoke a long time ago with Cape Cod Cannabis, the market was still new. So um, we were still charging $65 an eighth for flour. That nope. was, let's face it, mids at best. Yep. It was for the people that didn't have a guy, right? So luckily... Now, the industry's changed a lot out here. So, you know, there's always been some good, consistent growers and some good partners that we've had, like Bountiful Farms and, you know, Happy Valley back then was one of the, the best in the, yep, in the yeah. game. But as time has gone on and more and more cultivators have come online, the quality has really stepped up and the prices have dropped. So that uh, Massachusetts is finally ready for a brand like Pax. Absolutely. Because let's face it, like no matter how fancy the packaging is, and let's we what, did one best packaging. What's inside of it has to be good. Yes, because our customers are like connoisseurs. Nobody's going to come and spend fifty dollars for a blunt if it's booth, right? Yep. They they want fire product, so they'll buy it once, but then they'll feel tricked, and then they'll never get it again. So you know. Pax, is, we've been talking with them for a couple of years to try to come out here, and you know, finally all the stars aligned. And we have a small micro business out in Northampton where we manufacture and distribute Pax. We also yep. make Irva, which is a health and wellness brand, tinctures and topicals. Uh, Irva and Pax go way back, so it just made sense that when they were ready to pick a partner, that they would pick somebody that familiar and comfortable with already and that they trust that they know makes good product because that's the most important thing so when we go buy we're not buying off of a spreadsheet i'm touring facilities yeah and i'm looking at smalls available for sale now and we buy about 10 pounds per product line yeah and uh and it's small batch limited edition we're working with fire partners so you see what we're smoking on now is our truffle puff yeah this is with Advanced Cultivators. Advanced Cultivators, one of the bigger ones. A Truffle Pop, the new exclusive strain. New exclusive, limited edition. When it's gone, it's gone. It comes with special packaging. We're doing special merch. So we're going to be pressing up t-shirts over here. You get to pick your design, your color, uh, and we'll we'll make you a custom and shirt right on the spot today. We're going to need that. We're going to need that. Of course. Of course. Yeah. There's four different designs. Backwoods always come through with the great branded, the merch. Sick, sick packaging, as you said. It's always an experience. Always an experience. Premium. Yes. That's what it's supposed to be. It's for the connoisseur. That Let, top shelf. Let's dive into the products. Let's hike down what we're sitting here, what's sitting here on this table. You mentioned, you say this funny word. You call it a glone. Glone. What the hell is a glone? Well, we're the only ones who are doing it because, you know, we roll different. Flash cone joint. <laughs> Correct. Not so, resin. It feels very elegant. Okay. So it's a glass tip cone joint. You can reuse the glass tip. So um, it's one gram premium indoor flour. It has live resin on the inside. So this is about two grams of your flour equivalent. So uh, when you add up the flour and the concentrate. Top notch. This is perfect for like... Uh, 20 minute car ride or, or walk, you know, I would never smoke and drive, but <laughs> let's say like this is, if you want to take it to the face, this is very doable. The classic is what we're known for. That's the big blunt that I, this is about. the big boy. Now we have a, a classic blunt and a heavy joint. So 
there's a lot of people like Wiz Khalifa and they don't, you, they don't smoke blunts. They don't smoke blunts either. Yeah. So you want to taste the flour? We have a thin rice paper. Yeah. We're not a corporate Chad and Brad. We started for the culture, so we use different tips for every product. So the heavy has a cross in it, so that you don't get any Scooby snacks yeah, in yeah. there. No big, no big flour chunks come through. Exactly. Uh, whereas, you know, so. Every all of our products except the mini burst have glass tips. Yes, and the reason the mini burst doesn't have a glass tip is because, as we experienced earlier, there's a paper crutch with a turp ball in there, so you can crush that whenever you want, and it's going to change the taste of the flour, like the old school camel crush. This is where the the turp the turp uh, yes. thing is. And then some people like to crush it before they smoke. Some smoke it halfway through and crush it. Whatever you want. If you don't like that flavor. You don't have to crush it. Yeah. So everybody's different. You know, some people. And I do want to say when we didn't crush it, it didn't taste like it. It tasted like whatever the flour was and the infusion. Yeah. But it didn't taste like the terps, the turp ball or when I pulled it. Yeah. You don't get there until after you crush. Yeah. And, you know, if you like that bad taste and you want to go far and then you crush it, it's not. Boom. You know. Yeah. Well, that's huge, man. Well, Hatwood's been making it really solid. It was the flour that I've been spoken with you has been phenomenal. Definitely have enjoyed the blood experience. Um, what would you say you got? What are some of the quick, quick news or updates that you have coming coming up? What's the big? What's the major updates for Flower Expo for retailers on? So the limited edition drop. So when it's gone, it's gone. There's 1,250 units. Yeah. So very small batch, uh, and that's where we're about. Like we want to find a batch of fire, and then we put our stamp on it. Yep. So we're going to be dropping flour soon. Okay. Basically, the flour that we buy to make the products, we're going to buy a little extra. Yep. And this is our way of saying that, hey, if you like this product and you want just the flour, we bought a little extra of that batch, yep. and we put our stamp on that batch. Because you know how it is. Growing is very difficult. Yeah. It's a plan after all. So, you know, uh, batch to batch, there's going to be differences, subtle differences. Yep. So. We, you know, will put our stamp of approval on that particular batch, and you'll be able to buy jars. You can keep the jars. They're going to come in special packaging. Those will become collector's editions, you know. Yeah. This is uh, my dream come true, man. I'm selling the best product in the world. It's the easiest sales job out there because the product sells itself. The product. Yeah. There's very few situations where the product sells itself, and I've been hearing that with some of the better higher-end items in Massachusetts and in other states. You know, big respect to your guys' production team and the manufacturing group. Yeah. Uh, they're clearly doing great work. I've smoked five of these now, and I've really enjoyed every puff of it. Potent, flavorful, body high, definitely head high. Um, and I don't have any kind of burnt flavor in my mouth or fake terpiness in my mouth right now. This is, it was just like, wow, I just smoked a fire-ass month. Some people it's like good. that. You know, it's not necessary for me. Yeah. The whole reason we got into business was because... We wanted to be able to jump off a plane in any state that has legal cannabis and go buy a hand roll blunt or joint the way that we would want to smoke it. Yeah. And let's face it, like infusing a, a joint, it's hard work, yeah. right? So this is not something I'd rather do at home, you know? So it's a luxury. It, it's when you want to treat yourself. Yeah. You can go in and you can get fire, you know, so uh, I'm glad that where Mass has stepped up to the game and that we have a brand like Pax in the state and that the quality is there. The customers like it. The feedback's been great. Our live resin vapes slap two gram live resin. Oh, yeah, the live resin vape. I hit that last night, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Cloud Chaser approved. It's recharged because it's going to You said, you said uh, live resin plus THCV. Yep. Plus other cannabinoids. Yep. So uh, in in terps. Uh, so we basically oh, and cannab like, cannabis drive terps. You said just drive terps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're you know we try to manufacture the best cannabis products out there, man. So we're just trying to do our thing, bro. That's awesome. Pack Woods, Massachusetts, Pax, Los Angeles, out here doing their thing. My guy Derek D'Ambrosia. Derek, well, if when people come to Massachusetts, what do you, what do you, what is the number one thing you want them to know about the cannabis industry here? Uh, welcome to Massachusetts, bro. Welcome to Massachusetts. Let's Very go. Big bro, I appreciate you being on here. Everybody, thank you guys for hanging out. Derek Dabroja, head of sales, Packwoods, Massachusetts. I'm JP. This journey is powered by trees, and we got a bunch of other homies sponsoring us out here, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys tap in. We got the Terp Check powered by Bada Bloom coming to your guys' way the rest of the day. 
we go, we might come back over and turp checking some people, test their knowledge of turps, see if they know what good rosin is really like. We'll see you on the next episode. We out.